What's up, YouTube? So it's Sunday afternoon. Uh, this is probably not going to be a super long video, but it's time for a rug shop update uh, because even though it's Sunday afternoon, we had our uh, rug wash floor delivered today uh, from rugsuckers.com. And uh, I want to show you that, uh, some first impressions, and I'm going to get some of it. I'm at the car wash right now. We had it delivered here. Uh, because we didn't even know the address of the rug shop when I ordered this uh, Delivery time was reasonable though from is custom. It's a custom size. So from the day I ordered till today It's been about about six weeks. They told me eight weeks. So that's good uh, But the delivery did not go smoothly uh, And that's not a reflection of rug suckers at all. It's not a reflection on the product, but let me show you what I got so this was supposed to be delivered Friday. Uh, they, they called ahead of time and arranged for a Friday delivery uh, and said they would call back the next day with a four hour window and then, and then the driver was supposed to call 30 minutes out. Well, they never called me. Uh, so I tracked them down Friday afternoon to ask where it was at and the woman said, well, we called you this morning, we couldn't fit it on the truck. Well, they wanted to tell me the next day they could bring it would be Wednesday. And I told them that wasn't acceptable. Uh, that they told me Friday and I, I was not willing to wait that long. So, uh, long story short, after putting me on hold and talking to her supervisor several times after I told her that just wasn't acceptable, they come up with delivering it today on Sunday. Well, it arrived after no call ahead. It arrived and... Uh, Fortunately, uh, we, my dad was still here waiting on some other stuff. Uh, and it had been completely, the packaging had just been completely destroyed. And these, uh, these floorboards were spread from one end of the truck to the other. You can see a bunch of dirt on the actual floor itself, like it's been dragged around. I think what happened is Friday, when they realized that it, it was all uh, unpackaged and falling apart, that's why it conveniently didn't fit on the truck, air quotes. So they just put it off thinking they wouldn't have to mess with it. Uh, but it came in today, um, and the poor driver, I felt bad for him, wasn't his fault, but they had to basically unload it piece by piece, and of course we helped them with it, but we got it unloaded now, and... Uh, Got it all stacked up, so my plan for today, I'm, I'm really not feeling real good today. I got a little bit of a headache, but my plan for today is to get at least the wash floor, uh, the box under it is the floor pad, get that over and maybe the legs over to the rug shop and get it laid out in position. I probably am not going to move all these floors today. But I'll get it in position and get it laid out and show you a couple of things that we have gotten done up there over the, over the past week. And uh, that's what we're going to do today. So get the door rolled up and I'm going to start throwing this stuff in the truck. Here we go. Alright guys, just got to the rug shop. Uh, Logan actually called me. He's going to meet me up here. So I will have a, a little bit of help today. I think he's actually here, but I pulled up in the back. So... We had a few people over here yesterday uh, eating and helping me finish set up the plumbing. Painting this week, so say goodbye to the blue. And uh, we're going to have some, uh, it's a real, real light gray color is what Felicia picked to go in here. And they're going to be doing that this weekend. So... That's going to be the next step. We got to move these tables out of the way. So anyway, as I was saying on the intro, the floor came in today. Um, I actually took some pictures pictures of the way it was handled and sent an email to Rug Sucker just to let uh, Lisa, Lisa is who I communicate with there, just to let her know how it came in. It's a holiday weekend on a Sunday, uh, so I didn't expect a response, but she actually emailed me back within just a few minutes to apologize, and she said, you know, let me know if, it, if anything is damaged, we'll get it replaced. And she was real apologetic. And that's just awesome customer service to respond. I really did not expect a response today, uh, but that was awesome on their part. So 
I'll, sh I'll give you a little review as we get this set up, but if you're in the market for a really nice uh, above ground wash floor, uh, contact Lisa at Rug Sucker. I'll put a link below in the description. Awesome products. The one I bought was cu a custom size. Pretty quick turnaround in my opinion. Um, and reasonable price. And uh, there's just no other that I could find. There's really no other supplier uh, comparable that builds a plastic above ground wash pit with a raised floor, which is what I was looking for. So anyway, I'm going to get these tables and chairs out of the way. And I'll set you up on the tripod and we'll start unloading. And uh, I brought all the legs. I brought the under pad. And I brought the um, uh, actual wash floor. So we're going to get that installed today and, and we'll see how it goes from there. So here we go. Oh, my tripod died. Dang it. I don't know how long y'all were looking at the floor, but uh, we got it all laid out. So I think that might be as far as we get today. I might lay the legs out. So that's where we're at. There's the Versa floor from Rug Sucker, 14 by 20. Fits right between the pillar in the wall just like I had hoped looks good looks like it survived that rather poor shipping job so join us back here I'll have an update in a few days thanks for watching all right so I had closed out the video but then I got some backup support so we got our rug rug floor in including the ramp so real happy with it so far